I want to introduce you to another fighter against CTE and a fighter for not only America's warriors, veterans, but also our athletes. Some of you remember number 85 of the Miami Dolphins, Nick Bonacani, humanitarian, lawyer, a member of the Pro Football Hall of Fame, also the captain of what is the greatest team in the history of professional football, the 1972 Miami Dolphins. But years, you, the Redskins remember them, don't they? <laughs> years of hard knocks in Nick's life took its toll on his brain, and he began to show symptoms of CTE. Both Lynn and Nick sought out Anne when it became clear that CTE was a permanent part of Nick's life. And they agreed to donate Nick's brain to Ann's laboratory. As many of you know, professional football in all of America experienced a great loss when Nick passed away this last July. But Lynn is here. She is here with us tonight to share what Ann's care and research has meant to both Lynn and her family. So please welcome Lynn Bonacani. Good evening. I am both very humbled and honored to be here to recognize and thank Dr. Anne McKee, who is a brilliant researcher, an extraordinary woman, and a dear friend. Nick and I first came across Anne's name 10 years ago after a close relative suffered a traumatic brain injury. I was researching articles on brain injury and concussions, and her name seemed to be attached to every article I read. So when Nick started showing symptoms of what we now believe to be CTE, and its subsequent subset of issues, I knew we needed to contact Anne. From the first time I heard Anne's voice over the phone, I knew that she understood Nick's condition. In her lab, she could see how the disease affected the brain. I wanted her to meet Nick and see firsthand what it was like to live with this disease. Anne and her colleagues walked us through everything they knew about CTE. We learned about how so many of our dedicated veterans were also affected by the same headaches, extreme mood swings, aggressive behavior, and confusion that Nick was experiencing. Anne's team at Boston University did everything they could to maintain my husband's quality of life for as long as possible. Anne is in this fight on behalf of all of the veterans and athletes, etc., who are suffering from CTE and need someone to be their voice. As Nick said when he donated his brain for her research, I do this for the many others who are with me now or who will follow me in this journey. He did it because of his belief that Anne McKee's research has and is making a difference in understanding CTE. We hope that our story will continue to make an impact. On behalf of our family and everyone who knows an athlete or a veteran going through this journey, I want to thank the Partnership for Public Service for recognizing this amazing woman and everyone here for making sure that more Americans learn about her work. She is a warrior. She is a winner. Thank you for tonight. <laughs> 